International Women's Day is coming up this weekend, and to celebrate, a group called Be Bold Now is holding an event bringing together women doing extraordinary things. Here to tell us more is Be Bold Now founder Kate Eisler and event speaker Nikki Gain Butler. It's good to have you both yes, here. You. Appreciate it. Um, what is this all about? I'm all for being bold now. Well, <laughs> and later. It really is a celebration of International Women's Day. It is a day that's been celebrated all over the world for over a hundred years and it celebrates women's contributions across culture, society, politics and economics and we just want to celebrate it. And you would think the stories have been told but in fact a lot of these stories have been written out of history or mm -hmm. were never there to begin with and so it's a great way to understand women's contributions. It is. We actually um, really put the event grounded in data in the economic report on the gender gap. And we look um, where the U.S. is in terms of that gender gap, and we are very far behind. We are 53rd out of 153 wow. countries. Yeah. In and what area? Well, it tests, um, it really looks at politics and economics, education and healthcare. Mm -hmm. And we have gone from first to 70th in healthcare to women. We are 86th in political representation. So wow. we are behind Belarus and Malawi and Ukraine. What? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty crazy. Um, Nikki, you, you've you talked with us before, yes. and I'm so glad to have you back. Uh, you're one of the event speakers. Yes. Tell me a bit about what you're going to talk about. Well, you know, after they approached me about coming on to be one of the speakers, I started to think about, like, what, what messaging do I want to give to these women that are going to be in the audience, to women that are going to be watching? And it's about using the power you have to find what is going to be my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of giving a walkthrough of my journey a bit on how we harness the power that we have within. And are we even utilizing it? And really kind of talking about how we can start bringing about the life that we want. You had to dig yourself out of a really difficult circumstance. Can you describe what happened in your life? You know, it's kind of interesting that as I'm doing this walk and movement and growing, there's so many women that were in the same position I was or in that position now of kind of losing yourself. I lost myself in a, a false life because I wasn't telling myself the truth about what wasn't safe for me what wasn't okay for me, mm -hmm. and I ended up homeless. And, you know, it's about saying it's a decision. Say, you know what, I'm going to live my life for me. I'm going to be intentional, and I'm going to continue to grow and move forward. And it's just been the best blessing And ever. I think you've talked about, you know, not making decisions for the next, next half inch, but, you know, raising your eyes to the horizon a yes. bit and taking stock and going forward. And we kind of get trained, maybe not still, but I think to some degree, um, that we don't have as much power as we do mm -hmm. to make those decisions. What would you say? That's exactly true. I mean, you just think, oh, I don't have this. You know, I can't do that because I don't have these things that I'm supposed to have, when the reality is you have every single thing you need. <laughs> every sing I mean, I cannot say that enough. You have every single thing you need to continue forward and then as you go it's almost like you know um, the Wizard of Oz where she's go down that yellow brick road <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you if you keep walking then the next opportunity will meet you the next person who's going to help you will meet you but you've got a forward march and you've got to start looking at a different level of how do I want my life to look like mm -hmm. and really asking yourself like well how do I want my life to look right <laughs> We're so busy, I think we don't yeah. stop to take stock. Mm -hmm. And if you're raising kids and doing right. all the rest of it, you know, it's just kind of a lot to get yeah. through the day, much less sit down and, and talk. But the event gives us a chance to, to kind of do that. What do you hope people will take away from the event? So one of the things we stress, as Nikki said, is we try and profile women who are doing amazing, bold mm -hmm. things right here in our community. And so she's one of nine speakers that we have to tell those stories. We want them to be inspired and motivated to take action, to progress in gender parity and celebrate one another. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
you know, we don't all have to agree, but we actually all have to come together and support. <laughs> support is different than agreeing. Uh, yes. A hundred percent. Talk more about that, if you would, just so people can understand. Well, I think that there is, you know, we say data and we say a lot of things and we may not all agree on those things, but the best way for us to come together as a community is to support one another and recognize there's differences. We are over 50% of the population and we need to be together and help one another. And, you know, there is such a sense of scarcity that really isn't true. You know, there's room for all of us. And there there's is. room for all of us to be <laughs> at every table we want to be. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you both for yeah, being here. And I love that you're telling the personal stories because it seems like we get a lesson that maybe you didn't even intend. We hear that little thing that mm -hmm. helps us spark and get motivation right. to move forward or we just finally meet somebody who's done something yeah. we thought we couldn't do mm -hmm. and you find out you can. When women tell each other stories, two things happen. We relate to one another and we say, oh, if she can do that, I can do that. <laughs> in a right. good way. In a that's good right. way. Yeah. In a great that's way. What we want. <laughs> Thank you yeah. both so much. Mm -hmm. The Be Bold Now event celebrating International Women's Day is Thursday night at Benaroya Hall. We have linked all the details on our website. Please go. 